Hi everyone, it's me Moody Boo. I wanted to come back and talk to you guys about Boucheron. This one is Oud de Carthage, and I got this big old thing, and I've used it quite a bit. I've had it probably a couple of weeks, maybe. Now, for me, when I first smelled it, it smelled a little, a little oody, but more of the sandalwood sour kind of oody, oody, oud, than um, the sexy, you know, the carnal fecal kind of oud, or, um, the really smoky kind of oud. You know, there's oud has so many different facets to it. Well, this is kind of a sour oud, but it gives that sandalwood vibe. Sometimes I will just blind buy a perfume because I adore the house. And sometimes I just won't look at the notes. Even if I saw the notes originally and that caused me to bl blind buy it, I have so many perfumes, I buy so many perfumes that I totally forget what a perfume is like. Sometimes I forget I bought a perfume <laughs> until it shows up at my door. So I like to wear a perfume for a few days and kind of get an impression of what I think it smells like before I actually see the notes so that I don't get influenced by seeing the notes. And then it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I want to kind of figure out on my own what I get before I see what's really in it. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. So the first time that I sprayed this perfume, the first few times that I wore it, what I pictured was this sour oud, um, almost like a sandalwood and oud combination. And a, a hint of sweetness almost a hint of gourmand in there that I couldn't really put my finger on what it was from, but I got a, a touch of sweet gourmand in there. Um, some kind of edible note. I got a little bit of smoke in there as well. And this earthiness that I thought maybe it's a, a little bit of patchouli, earthy patchouli in the background or a little bit of wet tobacco leaf. Um, that's kind of what I visualized. Hint gourmand, a little sweetness in there, a little earthiness, a little sour oud, sandalwood kind of a combination and a little smoke. And lovely. And it really didn't trigger any other perfume picture like, oh, this reminds me of blah, 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 blah. None of that happened. So it's Oud, Honey, Leather, Incense, Tonka, and Labdanum, according to Fragrantica. So I know that's what I got was nowhere close to that. But at the same time, I think the honey and the tonka kind of gave me that sweet gourmandiness that I only really get at the top. Now, there is a hint of sweetness in the dry down, but it's really overpowered by the Oud and I think the leather and the incense and the labdanum, there is a hint of sexy in it once it dries all the way down. There's a little sexy. And labdanum for me will give me that kind of hint of just a little carnality. And yes, the leather absolutely. In the deep dry down, it's a sour leather though. That's where I think I'm getting a lot of the sour from. It's almost like a suede leather. Uh, uh, recently tanned suede leather that's mixing with that oud and I think that's why the sour carries through. Now it's not an unpleasant sour. I don't want you to get that impression. It's not unpleasant. It's it's that oudy, sandalwoody kind of sour that you smell but still warm and rich and earthy at the same time. It's a very very nice perfume. Now I do think, I do think it'll be interpreted a little on the masculine side. I do think a lot of feminine personalities will um, be attracted to this, but maybe not for themselves, maybe for a significant other or relative or something. But um, I think a lot of male uh, and masculine personalities are going to probably really enjoy this. And the prices, 
of Beaucheron are really good. Now, I'm not sure about Oud Carthage, Oud de Carthage, but a lot of Beaucherons are on the discount websites like Fragrant, um, Fragrance Net and Fragrant Perfume X. And this is part of their kind of exclusive line, like Ombre de Alexandrie and, and what is it? Vigny de Madagascar, whatever it was. Um, I've got both of those by Beaucheron. This whole line so far, every one I've tried, I have at least liked, if not loved enough to buy a full bottle. Will I buy a full bottle of this? I don't know. I don't know. In fact, this I'm probably going to put in my husband's, um, his uh, box on in the bathroom. This really, though, does smell like it needs almost a hint of ruggedness in your personality to pull it off. I definitely have that, but I'm going to, I've got enough. I'm going to throw this over in my husband's because I really like this. And if I adore it on him, I'll pop for a big bottle for him, no problem, but... The performance is good. I get eight hours, nine hours maybe with two sprays. Not bad. And that's our weather has been kind of fluctuating between freezing temperatures and up into the six days. And it does really well in all of that. So I think it's really versatile. I don't know if I'd wear it in hot weather, summer nights, you know, kind of thing, possibly. Um, but hot weather specifically no because it really for one thing it's not a daytime scent to me but there aren't really too many oud perfumes out there that i consider a daytime scent you know what i mean uh, -uh. it's one of those notes that just lends itself to nighttime like leather to me leather is another one labdanum it's labdanum is a but incense Leather and Oud, I think those three really kind of force it to the nighttime kind of category. I think this could be formal. I think you could go out and, you know, with your friends and clubbing, partying, whatever. Um, but it's really not that much of a statement maker. It's different enough. It's not super niche. But it's different enough than what is out there that you would stand out, I think. But at the same time, it's pretty tame for an oud, I think. It's well blended. It's beautiful. But sometimes when I wear oud, I don't want to be subtle. A lot of times I want to be loud when I wear oud. Um, and so, but this one is more of a polite oud. This isn't one that's gonna scare away people by any way, shape or form. That's why I'm not sure about clubbing or anything because it's just, it's, it's really polite um, for what it's supposed to be, I think, is all. I do think you could pull this off year round, definitely. And for the price, it could be a signature scent too. It's unique enough and yet not offensive or anything like that to where it'd be a perfect signature scent. Um, not a bunch of people are going to smell like you and yet they're not going to be repulsed by you at the same time. It's a bit inviting, but at the same time, it has an air of professionalism about it so I'm not sure how inviting it is. This is a boss perfume. How about that? This is a perfume I think a supervisor would wear. <laughs> if you're gonna wear a perfume to work the boss would wear this one and it's really almost more woody than oody to be honest with you. Even though that's the only wood in there it's leather and incense, tonka, laptinum, honey, but it does come across as a culmination of woody notes with oud being definitely one of them and you get that smoke that incense is more of a smoke than a, a spiciness that it brings to the the perfume it brings definitely almost a little campfire smoke oh it's a nice perfume it really is um 
I guess that's it. So anyway, I've got lots more reviews coming and I still have a shit ton of sample sets that I have to, you know, discovery sets that I have to go through. Alrighty then, I guess that's about it. And thank you so much for being here. I just truly appreciate you. And um, yay. So I'll be back soon with something else. You know I will. And don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell and comment if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I'm not even in the same key. Haven't stayed in the same key for three sentences. I still love you. There's my fourth. Somebody give me a tune to put to this damn thing. <laughs> Use your nose. Bye.